Okay, so the Miata is out of here. We're all done. If you're joining me on this video, I want to personally thank you for the continued support or new support. If you're just joining me, what's up? If you've been here for a while, I really appreciate that. So the game plan is today, I kind of got to get some stuff in order. I got a car that I got to go look at over in Windermere. And then I'm going to stop by my brother's house to pick up the engine hoist because I got to get the motor going in the Ranchero. And we'll just have to see what happens. And now, you're watching the Gluten-Free Halloween Candy of YouTube. Welcome to Bowie Vision. Oh, so alright, here we are. We got this S13 over here. So the game plan is, we got full interior that I'm going to be painting. Nice half cage, super nice drift car. Guys, this is Tyler. What's up, Tyler? How you doing, man? So, overall, I mean, it's a super clean car, real nice. Once it gets fully painted, I mean, it's gonna be that much nicer, but it's a full drift car, everything, real nice. I don't know what else to say right now. I'm gonna do the interior, everything. And then I'm gonna do the jams and then the exterior. We gotta figure out a price and all that stuff. You know how all that goes when you're when you're looking at a car to do a paint job. So we're gonna get that figured out and I'll see you guys in a second. A few moments later. Man, it is a super nice day over here in Florida. I'm over here in Windermere. The shop's over in Christmas, Florida, so I'm about an hour away. But either way, like I said, now I gotta run over to Josh's house, a cop with a swap that's in a Koei. Dude wanted to pull out the car, kind of get it a little warmed up, so I said I'll film something. Super cool, so that'll be a fun project coming up that we can definitely look forward to. Like I said, we're gonna be doing the full interior, the exterior, it's gonna be real nice, kind of more drift car stuff. Man, I'm really enjoying doing these drift cars, you guys. Maybe it'll make me want to get my own. I don't know if I got the budget for that right now. So that's the game plan. I'm going to be doing the interior first. We're going to do the cage, the full interior. That's going to be the first round. And then he's going to pick up the car, bring it back, and do a little more work on it. He's waiting for a kit to come in the mail different bumpers different hood he wants to replace the hatch as well so it only makes sense for me to do that you know with the new stuff and to do the new stuff when I'm doing the whole car so I'm just gonna do the interior this round and he'll be dropping the car off later on in the week so that'll be on the way and that'll be real cool real fun content to do I love working on cars like that but that'll come with time so now we're on our way from Windermere, Florida. We're going over to Ocoee, Florida to say what's up with Josh, a cop with a swap because I got to steal his engine hoist to put the motor back in the Ranchero. So I just kind of showed up unannounced. I was expecting Josh to be sleeping because I don't know if some of you guys know, but with his job, what he does, he works overnights and I was expecting him to be sleeping, but his car's not here. So I was able to VIP parking right into the driveway and that worked out. I gave him a call. He's actually out doing some work right now. Some off duty stuff. I don't know. Boring. So what I got to do is I got to pick up the engine stand and also the Civic is in the garage. The Civic that I painted a couple videos back, well, a couple video series back. I always love seeing old work that I did. I mean, it is just awesome that he allowed me to paint his car and now I can see it whenever I want. Usually I paint cars and I kick them on their way and I never see them again unless it's on Instagram. But it's really cool, really neat for me to be able to check out my work in the past that I did sitting in his garage. It is just awesome. So this is the car. If you guys didn't see this whole video series, I definitely recommend going to check it out. Full Civic Type R inspired DK Coupe, championship white from the Civic Type R and also the Integra Type R 
and he's just running these wheels for now because those are a lot easier to run around he doesn't want to be putting a whole bunch of tires on his show wheels but i also painted these sitting right over there volk ce 28 ends i have a whole video painting those and the whole video painting this car like i said man i need to get focused stop looking at this car well let's look under the hood and then i'll get focused and get the engine hoist in the car and we'll be on our way back to orlando so let's see if he's took care of it, kept it clean or not. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, still clean, baby. So for this car, I did underneath the hood, I did the full engine bay, extended these towers right here. That was welded in, plate, everything super nice. And I mean, man, this car is just timeless. I mean, to see a car that you know is still gonna be in style in generations from now, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, a clean car is never gonna go out of style. Oh well, back to work. Let me load up this engine stand in the car and then we'll be on our way back. You guys riding any of these lately? Ah! Gotta be careful, I don't want to hit his little motorbike. We see you next time. These cookies are stale. So now the trip begins back to Orlando and eventually over to Christmas. We gotta get this thing unloaded so that way we can get that motor prepped and ready to go. And let's get a little hot. <laughs> to be honest, that was nowhere near as cool as I was expecting. Stop messing around and let's get this engine hoist out of there. Heavy man. Boom, and just like that, we got the motor dropped in. The 302 took a little bit of convincing, but it's all good, it's sitting in there, it's all nice, everything. We got the mounts bolted on to the Mustang 2 front end. If you guys don't know, I'm using a Heights Mustang 2 front end for this car. Real nice, super cool stuff, double A-arm style. That's the green stuff down there. So, that'll be real good. So I got the front mounts all good to go. Now I'm working on building my trans mount. If you guys don't know, I put a T5 transmission behind this. It's a Tremec T5. So that'll be real nice, five speed. And you can see right where the shifter comes through. Please ignore that it's a mess in here. But right there that all looks good so now i'm building my trans mount so what i'm going to do or what i'm already using is i'm using the trans mount that came with the t5 tremec and i'm just going to weld it on this big piece of steel right here So this will go across from frame rail to frame rail and I already welded this side right here. 
camera looks a little funny, sorry about that. So that'll just catch the transmission like it's OEM, and then that's my little adapter plate. This is nothing too complex, nothing too crazy. I just bought that piece of steel from the hardware store. It's gonna go right across. So I already welded that one side down. I'm gonna get the other side welded on, then drill out some holes, run some through bolts through the floor, weld up the top so that way the studs are sticking out, and then I have some nuts and washers and lock washers to stick on the bottom. So that'll be all good, and hopefully we can get this old girl fired up very soon. All right, so I know I jumped forward a little bit, but the motor's sitting on its own weight. I got that cross member or the trans mount completely across, two through bolts going down, lock washers and washers. Now let me back up a little bit. The reason why I had to put in that trans mount is because I put in that Tremec T5 transmission, and that transmission was out of a, uh, let me write this down so that way I can help you out a little better. So with me putting that Tremec transmission in there from an 04 Mustang, I had to figure out what starter and flywheel combination I needed to run. So the transmission that I'm using came out of an 04 Mustang, and that has a zero ounce imbalance, and my 86 Mustang needs a 50 ounce imbalance. That's just how the crank is rated. That's what I need, I need a 50 ounce imbalance flywheel for my 302. And then as far as teeth or the size of the flywheel, the 04 Mustang has a 164 tooth flywheel and the 86 Mustang has a 157 tooth flywheel. And the flywheel has to do with the starter. If it's a bigger flywheel, different size bell housing, the starter is not gonna line up. Even though the transmission bolts to the block are gonna be in the same spot, the starter is gonna be in a different location if the flywheel is a little bigger as a 164 tooth or a little smaller as a 157 tooth. So this is my question mark. I know I needed something with a 50 ounce imbalance and I also needed something that was 164 teeth and the only thing that that came out of was a 1986 Ford Bronco. So that's what I ended up buying. So right now it's a 1986 Ford 302 with a 1986 Bronco flywheel clutch and a 2004 Mustang transmission and 2004 Mustang starter. I knew that starter would fit on that transmission because that transmission was also a 164 tooth transmission and now I got a 164 tooth flywheel at the correct rating. It's kind of confusing, but hopefully this makes it easy for you. So in the end, I have the 50 ounce imbalance, 164 tooth, 86 Mustang, 86 Bronco, 2004 Mustang, and we are good to go. Now the reason I had to go through this in the first place would be, well, it wouldn't be as hard if I just got the proper five speed for the actual Mustang, but I couldn't find one of those five speeds and the five speed that I got, that Tremec, the 04 Mustang Tremec, that's a real good transmission reverse synchros and I'm not gonna have to worry about breaking it. And I did all this because I used to have this transmission old automatic over there, but I figured I didn't want an automatic in here. I thought it would be a lot more fun to rip around if it was five speed and it'd just be a cooler shop truck if it was five speed and I can rip it and do donuts and not have to worry about it. I think it's just gonna be a lot more fun as a five speed. So now coming up, I gotta get the carburetor put on. I gotta get everything good to go. I gotta get all the wiring done. I'll go through all that if you guys are interested in this. And if you're not interested in this, I'm gonna post it anyways because I'm interested in this. So that's what I have going on. But I'm, I'm really sorry that this video was kind of short i know we looked at the 240 that's going to be coming on the way but i got to take off i got to get home because it's about to get spooky dooky for halloween i hope you guys had a good halloween by the time you're watching this halloween was probably going to be over so thank you guys so much for watching like this video comment subscribe do all the stuff i'll see you on the next one you know what it is youtube i'm out